Hi, and welcome to Pet Care Tips of the, of the, the week, the month, whatever, of a lifetime, because that's what we're going to get. And Kevin's standing here with me. Before we get started, because we got a lot of good products and everything else, but, you know, I always tell people you got to let people know that where your your background is, you know, and how long you've been doing it. Mm-hmm. You guys been around, you know, for 15 years as pet care, but you've been in this business a long time. You yeah. started out as a young, 25 young kid. years. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And so expertise, and that's what is important. You got to have expertise. I'm getting educated today. I'm already loading up on product here as, as we're talking about it. You know, I got the two new little ones there. And they got so much product on the market today to make life easier for the pet owner. That's true. You know, yes. and, and many times we're the first place they call because if there's an issue, they don't want to spend the money to go to a vet right. and say, hey, if there's a quick fix, they call us first. And, and there's so much quick fixes out there that, you know, and, and being the experts, your staff is trained as well as you. I mean, you get pretty much any answer you want. Yes. What I'm amazed with is this right here, because I, you know, I have the two new little dogs, but I've got a big dog and my whole lawn is turning yellow and brown and you spots and everywhere. <laughs> and I thought, when I saw this, I thought, well, all I got to do is sprinkle that on my lawn. And you said, no, no sprinkle. No, no, yeah. <laughs> it, it, you want to give it to your dogs. It's a, uh, it changes the pH in their urine so it doesn't burn the lawn. Just pHs in everything. I mean, all over us, pH balance for women. You know, there's pHs in our fish tanks and our lawns. So if they don't match up, you have problems. So that's what happens. It what burns do you out. Do, do you just mix it with their food or? Uh, it's a biscuit. It's a treat. They have soft treats. They got biscuits for the bigger guys. So it'll go a little further. And you got the soft ones for the little guys. It might be finicky. They'll so, so they're just little snack treats mm-hmm. and, and yeah, you know. And, you need about two weeks for it to work. Yeah, to and then, get through the system. And then the pH goes down, and your lawn stops turning. It stops you burning. You were telling yes. me that the dogs, uh, and it doesn't hurt the dogs. That was one of your biggest concerns. Yeah, that was you. my first question when they introduced it to me. And actually, it's better for them. They're less likely to have uh, urinary tract infections with a lower pH. So it's not only helping your lawn, but it's also helping your pet as well. Correct. And it's a uh, lawn lawn care. So you just give it to your dogs. I thought for sure you'd go out there and spray it. <laughs> that spray sounds stupid. It. But that's that's products today because there's so much new. And and every day you're getting introduced to new products that's coming mm-hmm. out. I mean, it's yes. just like anything. They study this stuff and figure it out. But, you know, if you want a healthier looking lawn, you can definitely do it this way with, with these products here. And uh, depending on the size of your dog, you know, what, what, what kind of trees they mm-hmm. want. Now, I'm looking at this because one thing I can say is if I can get them going to one area, that's even yeah, better. Yeah, and we're hidden in the back in the corner so it's not right off the step or off the porch. Yeah, that's where that comes in. It's a uh, smell, it's an attractant, so they smell it and want to go there. Now, can you use that? Because I'm, I'm looking at, you know, with the two little ones, I'm mm-hmm. looking at that as a training tool as well. Exactly, so that's, I, that's I originally that. what it was for. Yeah, mm-hmm. so I can use it indoor or outdoor. Yep, you can use it like, if you want to do the paper training or if you're having issues with them going on the puppy pads. Um, you know, puppy pads are very popular right now, especially people that are in apartments and don't want to well, I've walk got plenty in. of them, i got them scattered all over the, the place, house. yes. <laughs> but they still miss the puppy pads. So that's, <laughs> that, you know, so that's what I'm looking at. If I spray that, that's gonna draw more of attention to it. Yes, so, and, yeah, and, that should cure that problem. Yeah, but I'm telling you, it's products galore. Now coming into here, what are we looking at here? All right, that's this? for the, uh, the delicious, the dog who eats their own stool. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> it's a very gross habit. And the uh, last thing you want them to do is come in and lick your face after they do it. So the idea is that it does two things. One, it makes their stool taste bad, so they, it deters them from doing it. Also, sometimes dogs are lacking uh, certain things in their diet, and that'll fulfill that. I haven't had that problem yet, so uh, but <laughs> if I do, I know what I get uh, out of my box. Uh, deters dogs from eating their kind of goes along stools. the same lines. Yeah, so if you yes. got a cat and a dog to make sure you got that mm-hmm. to go with it. Yes, dogs are. That's I, we hear that all the time. How do we get my dog from going into the cat box? And that <laughs> is the first one, first thing on the pro, uh, product on, on the market that actually makes a statement and actually does what it says. We've heard, have had some people come back and tell us that. It works. Yeah, so it's just like a treat uh, there again. You just give it to them. As exactly. A treat. Yes, yeah. it's uh, again. It gives them something. Gives a dog. You give it. You can give it to the dog or the cat. Um, if you want the dog to stop going in there, obviously you give it to the dog. Um, 
And you can also give it to the cat because it'll make their stool smell, or not smell as much. So if you have a dog or a cat that's really stinking the house up, that'll also help with that. Oh, wow, that, that's, that's interesting though. So if you got a cat out there, and I guess this is a stool ease. Let's stay, since we're talking about stool, let's stay with stool and, and stool okay. ease. Because a lot of people don't realize that, you know, constipation with dogs, I mean, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, it, it happens on a regular basis. It, it really does, because especially if you have puppies or just, you have a big lab or Rottweiler that likes to chew up stuff. They chew up a kid's toy. They chew up the, the sofa, whatever it is, they chew it up. Um, or even their own toys and get lodged in there. Um, they can cause serious health issues. So that helps, has fiber, pretty much helps clean them out. Yeah, um, and, and you'll find your dog, sometimes you'll have your dog sitting in that crouch position trying to go and, and nothing's happening or he's having issues or he's doing it a long time. So not, maybe not necessarily constipated, but he's going, but he's having trouble going. Again, that's a good way to go. Yeah, stool ease and that 40 day supply right here in this little little thing here. So mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's amazing how much it and is. And they're easy treats too. You just, you don't have to like hide them in bread or cheese or anything like that. They, I haven't heard of any dogs turning them down. Okay, now if you got one that's going on a regular basis mm -hmm. and he's doing all right, but he always wants to wipe his cell phone on yeah, the floor. Yeah, yeah. You know, I think everybody's seen that uh, viral video of the chihuahua going across your carpet with his hot <laughs> butt, yes. Um, and that's what that's for, it's uh, anal sacs. They, they fill up, they get irritated, so that's, it's the. Uh, because back in the day, I know when you had that, there was actually dogs that had to go to vets and have those drained and mm -hmm. stuff. So they still you, do yeah, that, yeah. yeah. So it Which, get, God, it's gross. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it could get, definitely get into some money, uh, you know, when you're talking that. Mm -hmm. Get your dog started on this, and you're not going to have that and, problem. And you know? I actually have just heard two different cases where um, a groomer um, did it for them and didn't do it right and actually caused a more serious issue. So if you tell somebody says, oh, I know how to do it, I'd have a vet do it anyway, yeah, because yeah. it can mess it up even worse. But the idea is that this will keep it from happening. Yeah, that, and that's that's a key. Get them started maintenance. early. Yeah, maintenance, just like anything else. Now coming in here, I've got to see what we're looking at here. Uh, this is good. Bitter yuck. Uh, uh, what is bitter yuck? Uh, all I can see is a dog's face on here. <laughs> I don't it's want a, that. Taste look. A turn. Yeah, what uh, mm -hmm. is that? What it is? What? You can use this for a number of things. You can use it for if he's chewing on things. Say he's chewing on a sofa or or. A a, uh, I don't know, table leg, you can use it for that. Corner you can use it. Wall. <laughs> yes, any of that kind of stuff, anything that they're on. Um, you can even use it on them. So if they're excessively licking at their paw or something like that, you can use it. Or if they have a bandage on them, you want to leave it alone. Um, you can use oh, it wow. like that. Yeah, yeah, because I, I know that happens a lot where they have to put the collars on them and things like that. Mm -hmm. That's more leashes. Yeah. I know yeah. I've seen some people come back in with their leashes all torn up. I mean, because the dogs chew on that, you can use it for those. Um, you could even use it as a uh, training aid where I have heard people use them where they, if a dog is doing something wrong, you don't have to shoot it in their mouth, but kind of you can put it like on your finger and put it in their mouth or something like that. If they're doing something or you're catching them, do it. Um, and then a lot of times you just you do it one time when you show them the bottle and they'll knock it off whatever their issue, whatever they're doing. <laughs> well, with the you know? face of that dog has yeah. on there, <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to try and sample it. I know that. That's I know I've sure. gotten hit with it, but I, I uh, sprayed it the wrong direction and hit myself with it. And uh, it doesn't it's a taste deterrent. good. It's a deterrent. It took two days. Yes, there wasn't enough mouthwash. Yeah, uh, no. As, <laughs> as, as we talk about that, now let's get into some other things that are, you know, quiet moments, you know calming effects. I mean, you don't think, I mean, you got these different oils and stuff out there that humans are using today. Yeah, sure. But I never thought about with the animals. I mean, it's the same thing. Yeah, stress, stress is uh, a number one, pretty much the number one cause in behavior issues. So if you have a dog that's excessively chewing, um, barking, that won't calm down, bouncing around, you know, hyperactive, hyper, yeah, hyper. those, you know, all those things uh, usually will come from a stress. Now, it's a lot of times it's best to identify where the stress is coming from. And I mean, there's a number of things, um, whether the, it's uh, somebody new in the house, a new animal, you know, right. if you have a cat and you bring him a dog or vice versa. I or, never thought of that with the, because we, we just brought two young ones in. Mm -hmm. And I know the older guy, he's 15 years old, he was a little bit stressed out there for a couple of sure. days. He seems to be adjusting, but this would help him and they usually do. a lot, lot, lot more. But yeah, you're right. Especially the older they are, they get set in their ways. They're just like us. Right, right, you know, right. They get set in their ways, so when something new changes, I mean, you could just change your furniture in your house, whether it's that or, you know, again, you have somebody moving in. 
other animals, you know, and, and just like when you have a, a baby or a puppy, you're gonna show more attention to them right, than right. you are the older guy. That's what I'm trying to do is be they, sure they you give them that same kind of loving that yeah, we give the little guys exactly. and everything else. So they will stress and, out know, too. And different styles. I mean, you got quiet moment calming, you know, this is a ginger, I mm -hmm. guess, or? Well, there's, uh, there's sprays, there's the gels for cats, um, and then there's the, uh, the treats. And the idea is that if you're going to go have your dog, say you take them to the vet or um, you know, you're going to gro you have them groomed, it takes 45 oh, wow. minutes to kick in wow. yeah, and it lasts for about that. two to three hours. Um, some dogs have issues with thunderstorms, fireworks, I things had, like that. I had my giant schnauzer, and as big as he was, as soon as lightning happened, he was uh, trying he, to get underneath oh, the couch oh, and oh, stuff like that. Yes. I've never seen anything I, like I it. I had a big now, shepherd do the same thing. But so. you know, uh, uh, here's here's one in allergy aid with mm -hmm. it. You know, so yeah, and that's also for skin and coat. So if a dog, if a dog is like chewing on itself, having a bad hot spot, it helps helps a lot because it calms them down. That, this actually has stuff in there for the skin and coat as well, um, or the blocking of the like a like a Benadryl type of thing. Um, where it blocks the right, right. whatever it is that's causing the allergy. Yeah, um, but I mean, there's a number of things. So, you know, if you ever take your dog to the vet and you notice, like a re if you take a retriever to the vet and you go in to your uh, back of your car when you get home and you see how much hair is all over, all that is from stress. So I mean, excessive shedding. So if you're noticing your dog shedding at a weird time of the year, like that's a stress, you know, and again, trying to figure out what it is that's causing it. Right, trying to know. eliminate that, but- Sure, but, but, but in the meantime, yeah, and but, sometimes if you even know what it is, yeah. you know, you don't, I'm, you can't I'm, do anything about it. Yeah. If you brought home a new, new puppy, you're not gonna throw the puppy yeah, out, so, I'm, you know. I'm, I'm taking a bottle of this with me too. I've already got my other supplies, but a uh, quiet moment call And that'll me. last eight hours too. The room spray, so that's, that's for the big guy. Oh, separation anxiety too. If you're yeah. in an apartment and it's barking, your neighbors are complaining. That's the way to go. Yeah, so there's anything and everything out there on the market today, you're gonna to find it at Pet Care. We've got two locations to serve you, and address on the screen there. Kevin, it's always great to come in here and get educated. I found out a few things, and every time I come in here, I'm buying more, that's, uh, you know, but but it's good, it's all good. It helps the pet and gives them a better life, quality of life yeah, all the way around. Yeah, exactly, and as long as, if you're having fun with them, or if you're in opposite, you're annoyed with them, it all filters down, you know, and if you're happy with them, they're happy, you know, everybody's, yeah. it's nicer atmosphere. And, and, there's, and there's so many other products on the market out there too. If you've got some health issues or something, pick up the phone and give them a call down here at Pet, Pet Care or stop in and visit with them and they, they can guide you to some things that can help you. Kevin, as always, great job. Uh, thank you thank so you. much. Until next time for more Pet Care Tips. We'll see you. Bye-bye.